So we're going to have a look at today's higher level chemistry paper. Overall, it was a nice paper. Um, most of the questions that came up were as would have appeared in the past. Um, quite a few graphs involved in questions 7, 8 and 9. Two of those you had to draw yourself. One you were given and you had to extrapolate information from. Um, the usual volumetric analysis question, very, very straightforward. Um, organic chemistry, preparation of ethene. A lot of students would have been very happy to see that one there. Um, a calculation involving percentage yield, which would have been similar to something that would have been asked in the past also. Um, when we come to question four, your definitions, your little calculations, your oxidation numbers, nothing too, um, what you call, nothing too difficult there. Talking about radioactive bananas and working out a small calculation for dosage of painkiller for children. Um, when we look at question five, I was really, really pleased to see um, acknowledgement of the International Year of the Periodic Table. Um, we had Mendeleev been examined. We're looking at um, various different um, numbers in the periodic table, atomic numbers, relative atomic mass numbers. And I suppose at the very end, a little bit of a challenge in terms of understanding the position of an element in the periodic table and how this would affect the reactivity of that element. Question six, fuels and heats of reaction, very straightforward. Everybody would be happy with that one. Um, in terms of question nine, which was rates of reaction, a bit more, I suppose, challenging in terms of, of extrapolating information from the graph that was given. Um, but we say your general organic chemistry question could have made up for that. Once you knew your structures, your homologous series, and you knew your reaction types, you would have been absolutely fine. Uh, question 10, more organic chemistry, really, really nice mechanism question, more atomic theory, again, Niels Bohr, um, the favourite who keeps coming up year in, year out. And um, what's great, I suppose, for most students is that the stoichiometry problem wasn't too difficult. It was pretty straightforward, just using ratios and all the equations and balance, balance were given. When we get to question 11, again, we have um, the option part, the greenhouse effect, always topical, um, crystals if you went with the other option, and um, a half question on equilibrium and, and more atomic theory. So overall, really, really nice paper. Um, students who would have practiced their questions from past papers would have, have done really, really well. So hopefully, if um, you haven't come to the end of your examinations as of yet, that the rest of them that are left will go really well for you.